This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. We are located in uh, Chicago and uh, we have right now three trucks available. We are a small company. Uh, we look for company drivers. We also have a list to purchase position. In which one are you interested? List to purchase or a company driver? Welcome back drivers to the recruiter call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at two M Logistics out of Chicago, Illinois. Of course, drivers, this is a black ops company. I have not found anything on this company on the interwebs. Trust me, I looked up, down, Facebook, in book, out book, you name it, can't find it. M 2M Logistics out of Illinois. I wish I can give you a little bit more, but stay tuned to the end to find out the summary of this company. So you were interested in the job offer truck driver, yeah? Uh, no, well, wait, 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 wait. Who, who, who are you with? What, what company? Two uh, M Logistics. This is what Hold on. You, what is it again now? I'm sorry. It's okay. 2M Logistics. 2M Logistics. Logistics. The number, the number, the number two, the letter M yes. Logistics. Yes. Where are you All located right. at? We are located in uh, Chicago and uh, we have right now three trucks available. We are a small company. Uh, we look for company drivers. We also have a list to purchase position. In which one are you interested? List to purchase or a company driver? Hold up. Okay, so you're out of you're out of Chicago. You're a small company. Yes. And you yes. said you have three trucks, but you have two positions. Uh, uh we have uh, three positions. I'm sorry. Three position we have. And it's a company driver or list to purchase, depending on the driver. Okay, that's that's what I said. Two positions. You got company driver and you got lease lease purchase, right? Uh yeah, two different positions for three trucks. Oh, uh, two two different positions for three trucks. Okay, okay, okay. No. So we have three positions. We have three trucks available. So it doesn't matter if it's company or lease to purchase driver. Okay. Okay, see, you, I'm, I'm confused. The positions that you have is company driver, right? Yes. And the other position is lease to purchase, right? Correct. That's two positions for three trucks. Am I correct yeah, on that? Yeah, that's what I said before. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, correct. see, that's what I'm trying to understand because you keep saying it's three positions. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, for company driver and or lease driver, is that both ten ninety nine? Yes, everything is ten ninety nine position. Okay, so if I choose to be a company driver, but I still will be up under ten ninety nine though. Uh, sorry, it got interrupted. If you choose to be company driver, what? If I if I choose, okay, can you hear me? Yes. If right I right if I choose to go the company driver route, it will still be ten ninety nine, meaning that I still will have to be responsible for all of my uh, taxes and my benefits and everything, right? Yes, like everything is ten ninety nine, correct? Okay. How what's what's my what would be my cent per mile for a uh, company uh driver? Uh, so we pay 65 cents per mile, and each driver has between 3,000 to 4,000 miles a week. Okay, so crazy question because I always ask this: uh, okay. What would be the what would be the benefit of me going company driver if it's if it's 1099? I'm, I mean, 1099 will be uh, independent contractor. Am am I mistaken? Am I right? Yes. Yes, you're right. Uh, what are we looking for? We are looking for a serious driver who, driver who will stay longer with us because we are a smaller company. We only have around six trucks. We treat driver good. Uh, 
our boss and all all the team it's understandable so you can stay like over the road like uh, preferably like longer but sometimes if you cannot like it's okay we, we can adapt to it what is important for us it's important like communication with dispatch team all the time like when it's needed uh when you need sometimes loads for example let's say you need a load in texas because you want to go home it's not a problem you can say uh, to the dispatch team can you please uh, uh find me a load in the texas and they will do so so communication is important and how much driving experience do you have sir oh okay uh i hear all of that um how much experience are you looking for uh minimum two, two years Okay, I got seven. All right, so, uh, what would be what would be the what would what would be the uh, the option if I decide to go lease purchase? What what would that? What how much I would get and how much would the truck be a week and all or how much expenses would come out of my settlement a week if I if I decide to go lease purchase? Uh, lease purchase that's uh, with our sister company. Evergreen and it's like from three to uh, seven hundred dollars the weekly payment trucks from 2015 to 2024. So depending on the truck, like depends the payment depending on the year of the truck. So let's say 350 is 2015, 400 2016, 17, 450 2018, and so on. So from 350 to seven hundred dollars. Okay. All right. Uh, Chicago, Illinois. I'm out of Ohio. So how would how would you get me up there? And what would be the pre-employment trust screening? Uh, yeah. So we would uh, we would fly you if you want, like whatever uh, transportation you want to use. We we pay for it. We organize it. Orientation is two three hours, and the same day you start driving. Um, so for the application, to how the process goes is that you send us the CDLI medical card, you check your background, is everything, if everything is okay, we set you the drug test appointment, and when we have the drug test result, we buy you the ticket, you come for the orientation, uh, and you start working. So the trucks that we have are from 2017 to 20, Freightliner, Volvo, Canworth, Peterbilt, all of them are clean, they have refrigerator, microwave, inverter. And to all our drivers, we send the confirmation rate to their email about the load. So there is no scam. Everything is legal. You can have a lot of miles. And we look for a driver who will stay longer with us. Are we able Are are we able to pick our own loads or we have to get dispatched? Uh, you need to get dispatched. But as I said on the start, you can speak with the dispatch team. And sometimes when you need a load, let's say, to Ohio home, they can find you over there. It's not a problem. Like you just need to communicate with them, and they will give you the load that you like. They are easy going, what, flexible. What are the trucks governed at? Uh, the trucks are governed at from seventy to seventy-five miles per hour. All right. Uh, pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my grandkid? Uh, pet policy is okay. Uh, how old is your grandkid? Five. Five, yes. Uh, I would need to check that information about that. Like uh, before, we didn't allow, but right now I would need to ask uh, ask my boss about it if okay. he allows. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess my last question would be: Do you guys accept SAP drivers? SAP drivers, right now, no. But in the future, we might have like the program, especially for that work, one two places for next year. All right, all right. Uh, what's what's the name of the company again? Are you a SAP driver or no? No, I'm no, nah, I'm I'm just asking. Right. Uh, yeah, right. I, I was just asking. But what what's the name of the company again? It's Two uh, M Logistics. Two two the number two the letter M as yeah, in Mary. Number two M. Yes. Logistics. M logistics. Out of Correct. Illinois. Do you got? Uh, I never heard of you guys. So, do you guys have any type of uh, website I can go to and and check you guys out? Uh, we uh, we are a smaller company. So before I didn't work for this company, but they existed. And you know, when somebody does the job good and right, like when the market is bad, like uh, we paid out all our drivers, and then we decided to close it because of the bad market. But recently, a few months ago, we opened again. 
and now we are doing good. Like we are slowly getting bigger and bigger number of trucks, and we are never out of loads. So what we do, we have like really good insurance, really good loads, and we go slowly step by step. Okay. So we are a new company, so that's why you didn't hear about us. Well, cool. Um, I tell you what, um, I do appreciate the call, man. And what I'm going to do is just, uh, you know, do you know, do a little bit more research on you because, like I said before, I. I haven't heard of you guys. Yeah, it's no problem. I understand that. Just like uh, to tell you, like I can assure you that we are a, a serious company. I know there is like uh, I worked like even for some like really scan companies where I came out after one month. So like the reason why I'm here is like because it's everything is legal and people are normal. So this is a safe place if you are looking not to have too much stress while you work. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I, yep. I appreciate the time, bro. So thank you very much. No problem. We are in touch, sir. Yes. I'll send you the DOT. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. 2M Logistics, everybody. I don't know what to say. Um, I haven't heard of this company. Uh, we we already know it's a black ops company right off the rip. Uh, they only have only a handful of trucks. They're a small company. By the sounds of what the uh, recruiter said, you know, they, they had to shut down for a minute. Now they're open back up and they're quote unquote doing good. So, yeah, M2 Logistics out of Chicago, Illinois. Drivers, have you heard of this company? I honestly haven't heard of this company i went to the websites i went to facebook i went everywhere across the interwebs y'all and couldn't find a thing on this company went to the fmcsa safer website and i put in uh 2m logistics and it brought up a company out of tulsa uh What's that, Tulsa, Oklahoma? And so nothing, absolutely nothing on this company. I, I, I can't find anything. Maybe, maybe you guys can help me out to find uh, something on this company. But as the recruiter said, they closed down for a minute because the market was bad, of course. But now they open back up because, you know, the market is on an upswing. And they only have a couple of trucks. He, he says they they have three trucks uh, and they have two options for you. You can lease a truck for about $700 every week, of course, uh, with all fees included. Uh, or you could become a company driver at 65, 60 or 65 cent a mile at 1099 now drivers if you're interested in 1099 that's all well and fine i'm just saying for me with companies out there offering about the same amount as a w-2 with a w-2 you have benefits with w-2 you you have a 401k retirement plan uh what a w2 you have uh vacations you have uh what holidays additional pay you get all of that with w2 and you still get paid 60 to 65 cent a mile now i do not understand help me out drivers to understand this if you drive for a company that's w i mean that's 1099 that's paying you cent per mile then i understand that you may have some issues on your background that maybe a legitimate company couldn't bring you on and this company right here is giving you the opportunity to still drive to still make some money and it's unfortunate that that particular company takes all the responsibility and put it on you as a quote unquote company driver now they do have lease 
uh, options for you. So maybe that will work out for you as well. Uh, but I'm just saying for me personally, you know, 60 cent a mile at 1099 just don't make no sense to me. But for you driver, it just might. Uh, again, this company is out of Illinois. Um, as a matter of fact, I, to be honest with you, I couldn't even give you the phone number. Like, I, you know, it came up as, as a different phone number and I, I can't even give you the phone number, but I hope, um, I hope, you know, this MTC call would give you you know give you pause for other black ops companies such as this one that's looking for you 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 will you know do your due diligence and look into that company before you say yes before you send them your driver's license before you sign on the dotted line okay not to say that this isn't a bad company this company may work for you it may work for you. M or 2M Logistics out of Illinois. Uh, drivers, help me out. If you drive for this company, let us know. If you've driven for this company, let us know your experience with the company in the comments below. Drivers, if you can find this company on the interwebs, Please send us the information so we can put it in the description so drivers can look for this company and maybe this company will be able to help them out. All right, that's going to do it. This is the MTC on the Recruiter Call Channel. I am Lockout Man. If you guys want to know your favorite companies, all you got to do is get your suggestions in and you can do it three ways. One of which is by Gmail. That's Lockout Man Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Or you could do it in a comment session per usual. Or if you want to get it out there a little bit more quicker, you can support the calls by hitting the Cash App and putting the company in the notes that you like to hear from not only that i will give you a shout out and a thanks for the support until next time everybody who's next, next.